Hi everyone, Agnes here. I'm going to do a viewer's question today. It's from Gloria M and it's about deeper self-love. Now Gloria is referring to a video I did called the clear steps for deeper self-love and she says in the video you're saying how it's okay to say no to people and not feel guilty about it. I had situations where people with addictions and mental health issues really wanted to be my friends, but I didn't feel fulfilled in their company, even though they really liked me. I remember I had a huge problem saying no to them because I was thinking that if I say no to them, one day the person I will like would say no to me. What goes around comes around and at the end of the day you feel sorry for someone I mean who likes to receive a no. I would like to know how to say no from the self-love mindset without feeling guilty. What is the right mindset? Good question Gloria. Well I remember years ago someone said to me when I said pretty much the same thing to them if you do what's right for you, it's automatically right for the other person. Meaning if you're hanging around feeling guilty, but really being repelled by someone and not wanting to be around them, you're not really doing them a service because you are filling a space that someone else that would really enjoy being with them. You're filling that space and you shouldn't be there. Somebody else should be. So, that whole thing of if you do what's right for you, it's automatically right for the other person is a much more honest way. And to not feel the guilt, it's understanding and interpreting it a different way. So if you have this belief, and this is really interesting because you said, if I say no to them, then one day the person I would like will say no to me. Well, that's just a belief you have and that's your interpretation, but that's not necessarily true. So I think it's just getting to the place where you say, okay, if I put myself in situations with certain people and I don't really enjoy being here, then I'm doing them a disservice by my energy when I am around them. I'm not doing them a service. I'm not actually in a good place when I'm around them because I feel like I don't want to be here. Okay. So it's okay to say no, it's okay to change your mind. It's okay to, you know, say to yourself, I, it's okay for me to say no. And I'm going to choose to not feel guilty about that. You know, it's sometimes too, you say no. And then you go into all these excuses as to why you want to say no, oh, because I've got this and you know, it doesn't really, uh, help me right now or I can't really do it right now but maybe later and you kind of give them that little dangling carrot of false hope so I think the clearer you can be is the best thing you can do and that is the way that you're treating the person with respect is by being honest okay be honest and be sh be clear and be kind. It's about delivering it with kindness as well. You don't have to say no because I don't like you and your mental health issues or you're really weird and I don't like your energy. You're not going you don't have to say that. But you can say, you know what, this just doesn't work for me. And leave it at that. You know, unless of course the person questions you, then you might say, you know what, I just have a certain amount of time and I just need to allocate it to this. You know, whatever this is, that's a great way of not making it about them. And that way you are really saying, I've got so much time and energy and I would prefer to give it to that or I need to give it to that. My kids, my animals, my hobby, whatever it is. And you back out in a gentle way, but you're still saying what you need to do for you. Okay, so good topic. I know it's not the easiest to just say, oh, well, just don't feel guilty because sometimes we do. But if you remember, you're not the source of someone's supply and you're not really helping them. If you're showing up, they're not really wanting to be there. Then you say, okay, if I remove myself, then I create a space and a vacuum for someone that would be a really good match for them to slot in and fill that hole. Okay. All right. Lots of love and I'll see you in the next YouTube. Now, before I go, Mariana that I interviewed, 
She is a wonderful woman who has now started a channel with meditations. Now I will put the uh, link to her meditation channel in the description below and I will also put it a pop-up next to my head because she is well versed in self-love and well versed in doing the work on herself and I will be sharing with you an interview with her shortly but in the meantime you know for those of you that really would like some new self-love uh, meditations and experiences on the self-love subject on the law of attraction subjects that you're well versed in coming to this channel Mariana is a new nice one to go and check out lots of love and I'll see you soon <laughs> can't turn it off